the story of the hummingbird is about this huge forest being consumed by a fire. All the animals in the forest come out and they are transfixed as they watch the forest burning and they feel very overwhelmed, very powerless, except this little hummingbird. It says, I'm going to do something about the fire. So it flies to the nearest stream, takes a drop of water, and it puts it on the fire and goes up and down, up and down, up and down, as fast as it can. In the meantime, all the other animals, much bigger animals, like the elephant with a big trunk, could bring much more water. They are standing there helpless, and they are saying to the hummingbird, what do you think you can do? You're too little. This fire is too big. Your wings are too little. And you're big, so small. You can only bring a small drop of water at a time. But as they continue to discourage it, it turns to them without wasting any time and tells them, I am doing the best I can. That best was to plant trees. She lived for the trees. She lived for the rivers that flow on our land. Nobel Peace Laureate Wangare Madai fought hard and often was humiliated, <laughs> trying to save Kenya's parks and forests from the jaws of land grabbers. Keen to put up prime real estate, including skyscrapers, Uhuru Park stands out as one such public space. Everything had been put in place and the ruling party wanted to put up a 60-story skyscraper right at the heart of Uhuru Park. In fact, it was then touted to be the tallest building in Africa to house the headquarters of the Kenya Times newspaper. But such fancy comparisons had no place in the mind of a woman who fought relentlessly to save Kenya's parks. Professor Wangari Madai protested and in 1989, the then president took her on. Na mama moja na jitokeza. <laughs> na kwa testuri mama kwa Kiafrika lazima kwa jumu wa kwa jumu wa naume. Na mimi nauliza akina mama muko wapi kutu discipline moja wapi wenu? Ambaya mefuka mbaka. The international community withdrew and did not give President Moy the money that he needed and so the project Died. The fact that Uhuru Park is still standing today, it celebrates freedom, it celebrates selflessness. It is the meeting place for those who just want to share a word or two. Family outings are fun here. Did you always understand what she was trying to do for the country? No, no, I never did. I always worried. We worried sometimes about her safety, and but we never quite understood the profundity of what she was doing, and certainly the, the how aware she was about what she was doing. Karura Forest was one of the most difficult times for us. We we uh, we were away from the country, and but we would see images, and especially that very famous uh, confrontation with armed. Uh, thugs, as I call them, who were stopping them from entering the forest. And I remember my mother trying so hard to explain that, you know, forests are important for our lives and they couldn't have cared less to, about what she was saying. But you could see in their faces, and I think every time I watch that footage, you could see in the, 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 the bitterness in the eyes of these young people. They were ready to shoot some arrows and we all just hoped that good lord that if we ever were to lose mummy it would have been in a place like that these battles were always public and elaborate she left nothing to chance her family knew her heart was sold to the environment whoever we are wherever we are there is something in our lives that we can do no matter how small it is collectively it will make a difference so be a hummingbird in your community and if today she were to see Karura Forest, she would perhaps nod and say to herself, yes, I did it. More so, a day like today, the Wangari Madai Family Day, they may never know how hard she fought, but they certainly enjoyed that win. It is celebrated in the leisure walks. In fact, cycling has never been more fun. This is her dream for Karura, that it would be open and that it would be a place that we could all come and celebrate. <laughs> 
to celebrate her legacy. My Little Thing is a campaign geared towards provoking Kenyans to do their part, no matter how small. One of my little things is making sure that we reduce the amount of kitchen waste that we produce and we compost what we can, we recycle what we can, and then what goes to the trash is minimal. Because even though our trash leaves our kitchens and our trash bins, it goes somewhere. And most of us think it goes away. But where is away? Uh, I envision my mother sitting somewhere and wondering if she were to come back and she would look at us and say, are you still where I left you? I would love for her to be able to say, wow, you created something new and exciting. So this is something new and exciting in tribute to her. Soon, a museum to celebrate the legacy of the late Professor Wangari Madai and safeguard the footprints she left behind will be opened. And so tonight, I leave you with one challenge. Imagine a Kenya powered by the spirit of the hummingbird that chose to do a little something. Imagine a world powered by the spirit of selflessness. Imagine that. For Citizen Weekend, I am Anne Mawate.